is Matt Giannini here, and today we're going to be reviewing a Spongebob episode, a fairly new one too. Right. The Yeti Crab episode. We just watched this uh, last night, right? Yeah, Sunday. Yeah. And, um, so, we cannot do a commentary because one, we didn't record it, right. and two, that would be copyright. So, yeah, and by the way... You would have to record it too to do a commentary. Right, because it's, it's a new episode, so it's not available yet on. Uh, it might be on iTunes, but who you knows? It could be, yeah. But, um. So if it is on iTunes, then maybe we'll do a commentary for it. Eventually, yeah. Alright, so the episode. So, yeah, by the way, since this is a review without scenes, we we'll have to go really in depth. There we go. Alright. Now people can see me a little bit. Mm hmm. Not that they want to, but, you know. <laughs> so the episode starts off with the Krusty Krab. Now remember the curse of the Spongebob episodes. If any Sp Spongebob episode begins at the Krusty Krab and it's after season five, it's going to be one of the worst episodes of the show. Really? That's the first I've heard of this. Yeah. It, that's, a, that's a rule? Yep. Splinter. Um. Well. But don't most of the episodes start the Krusty Krab? Well, the newer episodes, after season five, if an episode begins at the Krusty Krab, it's horrible. Really? Okay. Yeah, some sort of weird curse. Yeah, but that's, that's in the eye of the beholder, though. Some people wouldn't like those episodes. Uh, I doubt it. Look at their IMDb. Well, no, right? if people didn't like them, they would have made more seasons. If the ratings were bad, then more, they would have canceled the show. So someone likes them. Yeah, but still... Let's talk about Krusty Krab. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Yeti Krab. Yeti Krab. Yeah. So this is a after season five Krusty Krab video episode. It starts off Krusty Krab. So let's see how good it is. So it starts off with Squidward being the lazy. It's, it's a slow day at the Krusty Krab. There's yeah. no customers. Yeah. So Squidward's just relaxing. Right. Reading a magazine. Because there's nothing to do, technically. And then SpongeBob's just doing all these chores, and Mr. Krabs telling Squitter that he needs to do something. And like he says, like, wash my car. SpongeBob does it the next second. Clean the roof. SpongeBob does it the next second. Yeah, SpongeBob is staying busy. Uh, He's cleaning and doing all the chores. And, and then, and then Mr. Krabs tells the Yeti Crab story for Lee. It's a big crab who eats lazy employees. Just eats them. Chomps their guts up and swallows them. So he tells Squidward he's going to be eaten by this, <laughs> by this Yeti crab. Because uh -huh. Squidward's being lazy. It's not helping SpongeBob with the chores. Yeah. And then, then SpongeBob gets all paranoid and he just keeps on doing stuff. And Mr. Krabs steps out. Yeah. He leaves the, the Krusty Krab. He has to do an minutes. errand, and he also says, wash my laundry, and Squidward's like, no, I don't want to smell your dirty underwear. <laughs> so Mr. Krabs just goes off. And then SpongeBob is just so, so, so paranoid, he does everything. Right. And then Squidward just keeps on relaxing. He keeps on telling SpongeBob that every Squidward just keeps on telling SpongeBob everything will be fine. And then... After a little bit, the French Harriers, a sheer coincidence later, the Yeti Crab! The Yeti, there's actually a Yeti Crab, and it shows up. It comes out of its cave. Wait, it comes out of a cave on a mountain right next to a town. Kind of like the Grinch. Yeah, so uh, Yeah. Does a Yeti Crab hate Christmas? There you go, new ride. There you go, riders. For the Christmas special of season 9 or 10. The Yeti that stole Christmas. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, so. And if you do use that idea, let's hope it will be one of the best episodes. Yeah, give us credit for it. Uh-huh. Like, so, um, shout out people who decide to make this episode. So the Yeti yeah. crab shows up and uh -huh. starts... Um, Tormenting SpongeBob, and he just keeps on going around doing all these chores. Squidward just keeps on reading his magazine. Squidward thinks that the great Yeti yeah. Crab is Mr. Krabs in a suit, in a costume. Yeah, so he's just doing all that. Then SpongeBob does everything. He organizes everything. He makes everything. He washes everything. And then he runs out of chores. 
And then the Yeti crab just gets so mad at him for doing things. So. And he starts to get very nervous. Uh-huh. And Squidward comes to SpongeBob's rescue, he says. Um, no, you don't shouldn't torture SpongeBob that way. So Squidward goes out in the back and makes his own little costume mm-hmm. to try to to scare the the Yeti crab. Uh, by making himself the Yeti crab. Then they have an epic fight, and Squidward's about to show that it was Mr. Krabs, and Mr. Krabs just walks to the door. Yeah, so Mr. Krabs shows up, and then he screams, and then the Yeti crab cooks them, and then they get eaten, and then it Shanghai the other two endings all over again. Well, not exactly. So the, the Yeti crab grabs all three of them. Puts them on the Throws them on the griddle. Yeah. Is about to cook them. When SpongeBob realizes... That he was just hungry. He's like, he's hungry. The whole time, too. So SpongeBob makes him some crusty, uh, makes him some uh, crabby patties, patties. With the emergency patties in a can. <laughs> and uh, and then they all live happily ever after. The Yeti's after. happy and... And then the Yeti... Pay, he pays the burgers. And then the Yeti crab is now a new paying customer and the crusty crab. So now that we gave him a little summary, let's just say that this episode was amazing. I mean... It was pretty good, it was, actually. It, it was, was really good. It was funny. It was, had a nice, simple plot. Yeah, I give it like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it really was good. really good. Time for to have my top 10 Spongebob episodes. It I was, enjoyed it. For a new modern Spongebob episode, it felt a lot like a seasons one yeah. through three episode. Because if you watch episodes like Wet Painters, Krabby Bland, all those episodes that Mr. Krabs the antagonist, this episode is like that, except instead of lying or doing some sort of filthy scheme, Mr. Krabs is kind of telling the truth. It's just, but yeah, that makes this... It's actually a really good episode. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, Squidward's no interest in a per a like Squidward's interest in like nothing in this episode. Yeah, it was a really it was a really good Squidward episode. Uh huh. Yeah, at least at least they didn't torture Squidward in some way where the Yeti crab accidentally dropped Squidward onto the grill, then his butt was on fire, then he. Then he, like, accidentally turned the whole crusty crab on fire. Then, what do you know, all the debris fell in his eye. Wow. And then, and then, what do you know, a big gigantic knife from over the sea hit Squidward. And he lays there. Oh, sounds terrible. But uh, we highly recommend Yeti Crab. Uh-huh. Yeti Crab. So, um... I've looked on the uh, schedule. It doesn't... It's not coming on, like, at all. It probably won't air till like, next week. I've looked at this week's airing. It's scheduled. It doesn't come on, so... They'll show it again soon, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And it might be on iTunes. We need to check that. Yeah. So... So, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this little uh-huh. uh, review. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned uh, later Wait, in the Wait, I week. forgot to give it my rating. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Nine. Nine. Five. Wow. Yeah, that was a good episode. Wow. Really good episode. Good score. Uh-huh. So we'll be back later in the week with something. I'm not sure what yet. You know what? We might do some more of these uh, SpongeBob reviews. Maybe our top oh, 10 SpongeBob so. episodes. Because the commentaries could be kind of... I'm not of... sure I've seen more than 10 episodes. So we'll see. You've seen 12. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody.